And the way from the north, barely a week after the invasion of the Anglo Gold Ashanti Ubuasi mine by illegal miners, the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Mr. Samuel Jinapo, has met with the various stakeholders in Ubuasi to find a sustainable resolution to the disturbance. He remarked that for mining to thrive in Ghana, government has a responsibility to ensure the protection and safety of partners' assets, including the concession of Anglo Gold Ashanti. Clara Mlano reports. Leading a team of mine experts, including the chief executive of the Minerals Commission, Mr. Martin Aisi, the advisor on mines to the Lands Minister, Mr. Benjamin Ayer, and the Deputy Minister for Lands and Natural Resources in charge of mines, Mr. George Miriku Duka, the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources, Mr. Samuel Jinapo, first met with management's Anglo Gold Ashanti and inspected operations at the Obwasi mine site. Obwasi is an underground mine operation with a depth of about 1,500 meters. The gold deposits in the mine is estimated at 29.5 million ounces. Last week, some illegal miners invaded an underground pit in the Anglo Gold Ashanti concession at Ariem in the Obwasi East District of the Ashanti region and got trapped. Anglo Gold Ashanti got a team of security personnel to the place. To avoid arrest, some of the trapped miners decided to remain in the pit. After several attempts and intervention, all the 87 illegal miners were rescued and handed over to the police. As part of Monday's visit, a crunch closed-door meeting was held with the Shanti Regional Security Council, RECSEC, the Obwasi Municipal Security Council, MUSEC, and the Obwasi East District Security Council, DISEC. This is not the first time illegal miners have trespassed the Anglo Gold Ashanti concession. In July 2022, some illegal miners were apprehended in the northern part of the concession for carrying gold bearing materials from the mine. This was the reason for the meeting with traditional authorities within Obwasi to call their people to order and find a lasting solution to the impasse. A final meeting was held with the management of Anglo Gold Ashanti and the Ghana National Association of Small Scale Miners for better understanding of the situation. Mr. Samuel Jinapo briefed the media after meeting all the stakeholders. For the normal processes of the law enforcement um, procedures of our country will take its course. I mean, people, if they are found to be to have flouted the mining laws of our country, will have to be prosecuted and, and the courts will have to pass judgment and sentencing. We are we are working, as you know, to get our national economy back on track and back on the path of growth, sustainable growth. That is one of the, not one of, that's one of the main surest means of generating employment for the teenage youth of our country. If somebody who is unauthorized enters underground, we won't know. That's, that's the, the bottom line. Um, all we can say is that if we have hint that somebody is underground, as you've, well, you've seen, we have this main exit that you can even drive through. We would always make it open for anybody who is underground and wants to come out to use this space. Gold production at the Obwasi mine started in 1897 and ended in the last quarter of 2014. A 20-year life of mine was anticipated after a feasibility study in 2017 and the board of Anglo Gold Ashanti received approval to commence work in 2018. This paved the way for a new mining activity and the first gold poured during the fourth quarter of 2019. Clara Mlano.